the coordinates, put all the textures under, or set them all to UV. But a good point to save. Save so if anything gets messed up, you can always go back. showing a blank for some reason, I don't know why, but I guess just type the name down there. Alright, now we want to have it, we want to have it kind of bluish, we don't want it to be brown. It still looks kind of brown, but we'll see how this works out. notice when you zoom in the textures look smaller when you paint them on slow computer this will lag like it is for me just move your mouse around it'll go there you just gotta wait for it also notice if you if you're painting from one angle it won't always get everything so go back and get that Obviously, if, if you have a slow computer, that might happen to you, so...
gonna skip to the, when I finish this. So yeah. for us. Now we're going to try the snow texture. There it is. I want this to be a little bit brighter, wider. Let's be a little blue. We can have this up top. strength a lot. We're going to get these edges a little. some edges that stick out a little more than others, so we're going to increase the strength again. We're going to touch those up a little more. the road that kind of blends in. Since this is I make this tutorial specifically for games, what we want to do is we'll first save, of course. I'm going to export to 3DS right now because Blender doesn't have any other formats you can export to. Snow base. Texture, we're going to want to save. Oh, go into texture paint. Go into, go back into your UV editor and press save. You have to save that. And just remember where you save that. Alright. Save one more time. It's exported to 3DS. Now we can import it into your game creation software of choice. I'm going to be using Silent Walk. Alright. Let's check it out. We've got our mountain. Looks awesome. I've got it kind of small here, but whatever you need, you can make it bigger. Now if you want to get more advanced, again, I recommend checking out this place, I'll include a, include a link in the description. This tutorial is free, it's about 30 minutes long, it's pretty good. The way 
I'm doing it. I actually found out accidentally because I'm having some problems in Blender, but it's pretty good. Yeah, thank you.